Hey guys, it's Stella. Welcome to my channel, Fly With Stella. So today I am starting a new series and it's called Becoming a Flight Attendant. So within this series, I will do a variety of videos dedicated to helping you guys and giving you guys some tips on how to become a flight attendant. So this first video is titled Flight Attendant Interview Image Tips. So these are my top 10 tips that are gonna help you look and feel the part when you go for your face-to-face -face interview. So let's get started. Tip number one, look like a flight attendant. This is the absolute most important tip that I can give anybody. Whenever anybody asks me, do you have any tips for my face-to-face -face interview? I say yes, absolutely. The number one tip is to look like a flight attendant. Think of that image that you have in your mind of what a flight attendant entails and emulate that when you go to your face-to-face -face interview. Tip number two, <laughs> wear red lipstick or wear a color similar to red. If red is not your best color, that's fine, but try your hardest to wear red lipstick. When you think of a flight attendant, you see their smiley faces and you see red lipstick. Red lipstick is very, very important. And for men, obviously you can't wear red lipstick. <laughs> Tip number three, have your nails done. So guys, <laughs> females and males, make sure you have your nails done. They don't have to be acrylic nails, they don't have to be gel nails, they don't have to be really long or really short. It doesn't really matter as long as your nails are done. So as long as you have a nice either clear polish on them, a French manicure, a very neutral color, or even a beautiful red. The point is to just make sure that your nails are done. You don't have any dark colors. You don't have chipped nail polish. And if you have chipped nail polish, the best thing to do is just have no nail polish. So just make sure you have your nails done. Tip number four, wear your hair up. Pulled back and up. Now it doesn't matter if it's in a bun, if it's in a French twist, if it's in a French braid, any, if it, even if it's in a ponytail, it does not matter. Flight attendants, when you are hired, are required to wear your hair back out of your face because we're serving drinks, we're serving meals. So if you go to the interview already looking like a flight attendant and your hair's already pulled back, the recruiters and the other flight attendants and the HR personnel are gonna see, she's serious about this job. Look at, she looks like a flight attendant. Her hair's already pulled back. So my tip to you ladies is to make sure that your hair is pulled back. For gentlemen, just make sure you have absolutely no facial hair. Your hair is up, you know, well, your hair is short. It's a nice hairdo. You don't want buns. <laughs> you don't want the man bun. You don't want anything like that. Just clean and neat for gentlemen. And for ladies, clean and neat with your hair pulled back in any style that suits you best. Number five. No visible tattoos. Yes, I said it, no visible tattoos. I know the foreign airlines uh, and international airlines, they have stricter rules. So you will have to go read up on what particular airline you are applying for. But I know in the United States, you are allowed to have tattoos. They just can't be visible. So what that means, even if you have a tattoo, let's say on your hand or uh, behind your neck or by your ear, that's fine. They're not discriminating against that but it has to be covered up. So with makeup, with the whatever you have to do, it cannot be a Band-Aid, it has to be makeup, but make sure it's covered up. And when the recruiters ask you about it, because they will ask, do you have tattoos? Do not lie about it. Make sure you say, yes, I do have a tattoo, but I absolutely know how to cover it up with makeup. Tip number six, wear simple jewelry. So what this means is don't wear big hoop earrings, don't wear long dangly earrings, don't have a ton of bracelets, a big chain necklace, no. Just very simple, simplistic jewelry. My recommendation is to wear a watch because when you're a flight attendant, it is required that you have a watch for safety purposes. So if you're already wearing one, they already see, oh, she's already used to wearing a watch. She's not gonna forget her watch, so wear a watch. If you wear a necklace, very simple, delicate necklace, do not wear a big chunky statement piece. Simplistic. Tip number seven, for the ladies, wear two to three inch heels. Simple black or dark navy shoes. You don't want patent leather, shiny red, brown, white, 
any other color purple you can think of. You just want either black or dark navy shoes and just a small heel. You don't want to walk in there with four or five inch heel platforms. That's not what they're looking for. They're looking for simplistic and neat and two to three inches max. Tip number eight, wear nylons. If you wear a skirt suit or even if you wear a pantsuit, make sure you have socks on if you have a pantsuit on or nylons if you have skirts. Uh, you definitely want to have the nylons either a nude color or a black color. You don't want, again, brown or pink or maroon or any other type of nylons. This is not a time to let your personality shine through your nylons. This is a time to look very professional and to look like a flight attendant. Tip number nine, have impeccable posture. So what this means is that when you're standing or when you're sitting at your face-to-face -face interview, you always kind of want to sit with your shoulders back. You want good posture. You don't want to be kind of down like this and frumpy or, you know, sitting with your legs open. <laughs> you definitely want to be natural, obviously, but just have a sense of confidence when you're sitting or when you're standing. They're gonna be looking at this because they're gonna be looking at how you're gonna look walking, picturing you, how you're gonna look walking up and down the aircraft or when you're sitting at your jump seat. So you just wanna make sure that you have good, confident posture. Okay, and tip number 10. What do we think it is? <laughs> smile, smile, smile. So, if you take nothing away from this whole video, or you don't remember it, or I rambled too much, remember that you guys have to smile. They are looking for smiley, bright little faces. So it doesn't matter what else you do, smile, have fun. They are gonna sense this. If you're smiling, trust me, it's contagious. You're gonna have fun, you're gonna do good. So smile, smile, smile. All right guys, those are my top 10 tips for flight attendant interview image tips. I hope these helped and stay tuned because I will have more videos on becoming a flight attendant series.